Hello everyone, my name is Hassan Abdullahi and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up of lighting in the, this scene with the V-Ray 7 and also uh, get the final render. Um, let's do this before we dive into adjusting the lighting of this scene. I always use that this layout, a specific this layout. Uh, the, this layout split the views into the two parts and the right side going to be for video cam and the left side is going to be for perspective and edit and manage everything in our scene. And after that I'll right click to the right side and going to the render setup. After that to view to the render tab I just click this button to like the camera. And now I want to start it with the V-Ray Sun from here and added the V-Ray Sun just with the one click and drag and drop and added the V-Ray Sky Movement map. And now use the move tab and going move it up and go to the modify and increase the size multiplier of the sun like Four. and now uh, again I want to go to the render setup and after that go to the V-Ray tab and global switches tab and turn on the empty override setting and click and after that I want to turn on the refraction and add the V-Ray material on the base hole of scene and go to the next Switch in the basic to the advanced and turn on the ambient occlusion and after that go to the render element and add it to just two elements one of them is ray denoiser and switching from the default ray denoising to the NVIDIA denoiser and the next is the very light mix to access the all parameters of light and temperature what we created and now um, you can see uh, that is the parameter for uh, image expert is uh, 0 0.9 and okay let's get to render started with the IPR just uh, I delete the previous tab here okay and when you added the light mix, you can access to the source light mix here. We just added the V-Ray Sun and environment. And now we have a natural light with the V-Ray Sun. And now we want to increase the parameters from the environment map uh, from the one to like five, maybe more like seven. It's so much, much better. And now uh, one of the feature in the V-Ray 7, we have it here when you click and hold your click you can see that uh, we the previous V-Ray 6 we have it uh, upward rendering but in the V-Ray 7 we have the stop rendering we when you use that you never lose anything and never turn off the V-Ray divisor and now I want to use the this button you can uh, transfer your uh, all setting and all parameters in your frame buffer to the scene and I want to click and say yes and just uh, render again and now I want to add it uh, some uh, artificial uh, lights and in the uh, new feature of the V-Ray 7 we have a new lights you can see the V-Ray Luminaire but uh, we shouldn't uh, use that from the Chaos Cosmos library. And now I want to click Cosmos Browser. And after that, I want to just write the uh, luminance. And now click on this. And the all asset upgraded to new feature of the V7 lights. And some of them I downloaded already downloaded. And they're going down. And now I want to add it, this access in our scene. 
use that from the top and move that like here okay and the left views move it up and earlier I want to rotate that like this a little move forward right and now use that of course instance type and use the mirror okay so much much better and now added the ceiling light going up can be use that from the front view use the G to remove a rather of the grid okay and now I want use the another light what with mesh type but before that I use the alt on my keyboard plus b and in the background tab i want to use the third one the use custom user interface alt color to remove that black for in our scene okay and now i want just uh, take a copy from that and use the copy type and remove that uh, modifier of the stack and added the sweep modifier and the cylinder type and just remove that parameters okay and decrease the radius and from the view okay and need just decrease the some x offset parameters okay and maybe going down a little decrease the parameters of radius now it's okay and I want to add it the one mesh type light and turn on the auto grid and just click here and go to the modify and pick mesh and now I want to select that cylinder and it's okay now I want to go to the uh, break cam right here and use the frame buffer and get the render again we have a two, uh, two source light one of them is for uh, the exist light and one of them is the rays of that, that light okay it's, I think it's that too much and just decrease 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay and now we want to add the white balance layer and make it colder it's okay and now again I want to increase the parameters of the environment maybe 2 or maybe 1.5 is okay and for the lamp uh, light wall I want to increase that maybe change the temperature a little warmer like uh, 4500 And now we want to stop that render and use that again and again. And now I want to add the exposure layer to use the highlight burn. Okay, and increase the exposure and also control.
and now finally and after that you can use the sharpen calculate sharpen and decrease the parameter of blur radius and all of course the lens effect But it decrease that it's perfect and now I want to increase the very light from here but just I want to select light these scenes and turn on the invisible option and after that increase the parameters to 10 maybe 7 okay okay and again i want to use that this button to switch into the sense now just rate uh, rendering render setup and after that increase our image aspect size and go to the max subdivision going to the 120 and increase that noise threshold and it's enough i think and after that i want to use that to find a render and see what what we render it and now you can see the result so much realistic light ups in our scene and if you need the scene you can just leave a comment and take a message in the telegram or maybe i uploaded the scene in our description and you can access to download and use that scene if you enjoy it please like this video and leave a comment and subscribe thank you so much and have a nice time until the next video